welcome guys thank you so much for joining in so today as you can see the price of bitcoin right now does looks like it is holding its ground around this lower line of this rising wedge and also along with that we have this another support from this 21 exponential moving average that is acting at this current stage because you can see very very clearly that the price here does tends to be respecting this 21 exponential moving average i also even said that in my yesterday video i said you guys whenever we see price of bitcoin above this 21 exponential moving average it usually indicates that the price here could still continue slowly in an upward direction because you can see plenty of time guys whenever we manage to find support at the lower line of this rising wedge and also the price finding support above the 21 exponential moving average we started heading in an upper direction towards the upper line of this rising wedge so you can see right now this is a pretty similar scenario we are finding support at this 21 exponential moving average and also if we see any sort of a pullback we also know this lower line of this rising wedge is going to act as a strong strong support and in this case guys if we are going to see a sort of a pullback type of scenario which price target should be focused at this current stage as a very very strong supportive area so if this is going to be a pullback type of scenario right now guys i will be monitoring around this particular area so 21 exponential moving average is around 52,200 52,300 and lower line of this rising wedge is also around this 55,200 55,300 price level so now we know this price level here to the downside around 55,200 55,300 is a very very strong support and then we could see right we could see another move here in an upper duration slowly and slowly towards the upper line of this rising wedge the reason why i'm actually saying you this 55,000 price level is a very very strong line of support is because you can see here guys before i switch into another chart i would really really appreciate if you could just take two seconds of your time and smash the like button and for those individual watching this video for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell and also let me make you aware that bybit right now is giving around 200 dollar bonus to those individuals who sign up using my ref link down below this is only for our subscribers so if you want to take advantage of some bonuses and trade with free money then definitely check this out so guys let's switch the chart yesterday i did show you guys this bump and roll reversal bottom type of scenario i said whenever the price breaks out of this previous resistance line this falling trend line which previously acted as a resistance you can see plenty of time right but once when we were able to break out of it we got a rejection from this 0.618 and we got a pullback and this pullback ended exactly after reaching this 0.236 fibonacci label and after that we started another inputsy move here in an up duration and you can see that very clearly right so now you can see guys pretty similar scenario also unfolded again we got a pullback price also found a very strong resistance at this falling trend line but once when we were able to break out of it we also came at this 0.618 just like with the previous example found a very strong resistance and we saw this pullback and look at this this pullback also ended exactly at this 0.236 fibonacci label and after that another impulsive move started and this is exactly what is also unfolding right now with bitcoin price action because if you monitor the price women you can see here we did also found a very strong resistance around this 0.618 price was unable to close over it we saw this pullback right and you can see this pullback has not tested this 0.236 level so that's why i was saying that if we are going to see any sort of a pullback then we should be ready to see price coming around this point 236 Fibonacci label that is going to be around 55,200 to 55,300 because in the previous example here you can see whenever we broke out of it we saw a pullback towards this 0.236 and another impulsive move started after that so if this is going to be a pretty similar scenario just like here right or just like here then we should be also aware to see any sort of a pullback towards this 0.236 Fibonacci level which is going to be around 55,200 to 55,300 price level and if you want to look at this bump and run reversal bottom scenario this is one example of it because you can see the falling trend line is going to be a resistance line but once we break out of it and also find support above it then a new trend actually starts and this here right now also pretty similar scenario to this bump and run reversal bottom scenario so right now we are actually witnessing some sort of a weakness to continue in upward direction because we know this 0.618 is acting as a resistance at this current stage and also this downside here the 0.236 has not been reached so if there is going to be any sort of a pullback then this 0.236 could be on the line and after that we could be forming another impulsive move here in an upper duration i know many are already calling this price movement to be a bearish reversal scenario it is too early to call this a reversal pattern so that's why guys i'm actually also going to show you when 
i will be calling or looking at this as a berry scenario later in this video so please watch this video till the end and now you can also see here another example also in a four hour time frame yesterday we did talk about this wyckoff's accumulation scenario playing out i said you guys this price structure here what we are witnessing inside this symmetrical triangle was meant to happen why because according to this wyckoff's accumulation schematic 2 you can see we are now in a phase the area right in a phase the area after breaking out of this resistance line there are going to be some shakeout type of scenario and this shakeout was also showed in an example and after that you can see right after breaking the upper line of this symmetrical triangle a new trend actually started because after that we could be entering the phase e area and this is also what i actually said you on my yesterday video but if this support line here lower line of this symmetrical triangle is not going to hold the price which price target level are we going to look after that because after that things could have another twist guys and that could be seen in this particular example here so now what we are actually going to do is we are going to look at this price structure in a four time frame using this fibonacci extension label because if you monitor this current bitcoin price structure using this fibonacci extension label we can see some very very interesting scenario that could be playing out right now with this Wyckoff's accumulation phase, I said to you guys that this could be playing out as a symmetrical triangle. And if we are going to see a symmetrical triangle breakout type of scenario here, right? Let's suppose this is going to be a symmetrical triangle type of scenario. So if this breakout does happen, then we will be monitoring around this price movement from low till higher, right? This is the height of this symmetrical triangle. So in that case, right? In that case, you can see here. If the breakout is going to happen here, we can see exactly around this 0.618 is where our breakout target is going to be that is going to be around 66,000 price level but if this is going to fail right if this is going to fail and we are going to see any sort of a pullback then we should be also aware that this symmetrical triangle could lead us exactly around this 50,000 price level here to the downside so let's see which scenario is going to play out because if this is not going to play out as a symmetrical triangle then what we can also do is guys we can look this as a descending triangle because if you look at this price structure here you can see not just only not just only the symmetrical triangle scenario could be playing out right now but also descending triangle because now we know here you can look at this scenario in a both way one here with the symmetrical triangle and another one here with the descending triangle so if this support is going to fail here right if the support is going to fail here we could also find another support around this 0.382 Fibonacci level 54,260 54,270 is going to be another support we could still find support here play out as a descending triangle and could still head in an upper duration so for me the most important thing as long as we are holding our ground around this 54,000 price level I don't want to call this a bearish scenario guys but if we fail to hold this ground around this 54,000 and price gets gravitated towards the 50,000 then the whole market scenario could be changing but for now as i've already said you i will be focusing on probably a move here in an upper duration so in this case right in this case if the price does manage to see another move here in an upper duration holding its ground around this lower line of this symmetrical triangle and also showing a possible breakout scenario the first target for now would be this 0.618 Fibonacci extension label that's going to be around 61,200 area and the second target here according to this symmetrical triangle is going to be around 0.786 Fibonacci extension level so that is going to be around 66,200 price level so this is what I see right now looking at the price structure of Bitcoin guys if you enjoyed my work then hit the like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this I'm signing out my name is Anup bye bye guys